We're here to redeem the time. Welcome to Grade 7 Natural Science, Relationship of the Sun to the Earth, Solar Energy and the Earth's Seasons. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button below and in the description below, be sure to check out the links to learn more about the seasons and about Antarctica's summer and winter. You will need pen and paper for the activities that follow. So pause the video now, get your pen and paper, and when you're ready, continue. What causes the seasons on Earth? The Earth has seasons due to the tilt of the Earth. Due to the tilt of the Earth, the intensity of the solar energy reaching different parts of the world changes throughout the year. In December, which hemisphere receives more solar energy? The northern or the southern? What season is it in the northern hemisphere? What season is it in the southern hemisphere? In December, the southern hemisphere leans towards the sun, receives more solar energy, it is summer. The northern hemisphere leans away from the sun, receives less solar energy, it is winter. In June, which hemisphere receives more solar energy? The northern or the southern? What season is it in the northern hemisphere? What season is it in the southern hemisphere? In June, the southern hemisphere leans away from the sun, receives less solar energy and has winter. The northern hemisphere leans towards the sun, receives more solar energy and it has summer. In December, South Africa has summer because the southern hemisphere leans towards the sun. In March, autumn, in June winter, because the southern hemisphere leans away from the sun, and in September spring. Consider two identical torches that have the same amount of energy. They produce different spots of light. The torch that shines directly onto the surface, we call that direct light. The light is concentrated on a small area and it has a high solar intensity. The light shining at an angle is called indirect light. It is spread over a large area and it, the light has a low solar intensity. Summer. When the solar energy falls more directly, the solar energy is spread over a smaller area and it is summer. Winter. When solar energy falls obliquely, Obliquely means at an extreme angle. The solar energy is spread over a larger area and it is winter. Consider the thermal image. The blue color at the north and the south pole indicates lower temperatures. And the red color at the equator indicates higher temperatures. Why is it hotter at the equator than at the poles? The light shining at the equator is direct light. The same amount of energy is concentrated on a small area, the solar intensity is higher, and the temperature is higher. And so it is hotter at the equator. The light shining close to the poles is indirect light. The same amount of energy is spread over a larger area, the solar intensity is lower, and the temperature is lower. That's why it's cooler at the poles. The Earth's tilt causes seasons. Seasons affect the length of day. In summer, days are longer than in winter. Consider Cape Town. Let's look at two months, June, a winter month, and December, a summer month. In summer, the sun rises much earlier and it sets much later, giving more hours of daylight a longer day. There are two solstices, the summer solstice, which is the longest day of the year and the shortest night, and the winter solstice, which is the shortest day of the year and the longest night. 
Between the 20th and 21st of December, the Northern Hemisphere has its winter solstice and the Southern Hemisphere its summer solstice. Between the 20th and 21st of June, the Northern Hemisphere has its summer solstice and the Southern Hemisphere has its winter solstice. In moving from the equator towards the poles, the longest stand summer becomes even longer and the shortest stand winter becomes even shorter. For the polar regions, in winter there's perpetual darkness, 24 hours darkness. And in summer, perpetual daylight, 24 hours day. There are two equinoxes when day and night are about equal in length. Between the 20th and 21st of March is South Africa's autumn equinox. And between the 22nd and 23rd of September is South Africa's spring equinox. Let's see what you've learned. Pause the video and answer the questions. When you're done, continue. Pause the video and correct your work. When you are done, continue. Pause the video and answer the questions. When you are done, continue. Pause the video and correct your work. When you are done, continue. Pause the video and answer the questions. When you are done, continue. Pause the video and correct your work. When you are done, continue. What causes the seasons on Earth? Why is it hotter at the poles, at the equator than at the poles? Explain in full. Pause the video and answer the questions. When you are done, continue. Pause the video and correct your work. When you are done, continue. Pause the video and correct your work. When you are done, continue. Sources. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord show you his kindness. May he have mercy on you. May the Lord watch over you and give you peace.